Hey fancy beauties and bows, welcome back to the channel. So today's video, I'm just going to kind of give my feet a work over and just show them some love that they truly, truly need, okay? <laughs> so I picked this device up and it is, I'll have all the information about what this is, where I purchased it from and everything like that in the description bar. So, in order to get prepared for this chore, okay, let's just be 100. I have gymnastic and dancer's feet. So, my feet aren't ugly, but they're not the prettiest either. So, I just kind of want to keep them looking summer ready. I need some summer toes. And so since we've been on lockdown, it's been kind of hard to get out and about to the nail salons. And I'm not in a hurry to get there. Trust and believe that. So what I did for my water is I put in some mouthwash, some Listerine mouthwash. And that's just going to kill any germs, bacteria, uh, foot fungus if there's any, which I don't have any. But I also added some peroxide to the water as well. And everything that I did is just going to help prepare my feet for future work. <laughs> and I uh, just want to have them as, as nice as I can possibly get them. So what I'm doing here, it, before I put them in the water, I'm just going to go ahead and get all of that dead skin off from the back of the ankle area all the way to the heels, to the middle of the feet, to the toe area and just clean all of that dead skin off and get them nice and as soft as I can get them before they go into the water. Also, the foot soaker that I'm using is from Conair, and I purchased that from Amazon. I will put a link for that as well in the description bar for you guys to take a look at that for yourself. And then later in the video, I will show you all the different features that it has. I, in the beginning, showed you uh, the instructions and things like that on the foot petty. I, I'll just call it a foot petty since I don't have that information in front of me. But I will link that down in the description bar for you guys as well. What I like about this tool is if you notice there's a light on there and I really appreciate that light because it helps me to see what areas I need to hit again or that I've already taken care of properly. So now we're going to go ahead to the fun part, to the part where I just received every great thing that I could get when I put my feet in this water, honey. As you can see, the bubbles are going. You have different settings on this soaker. And you have three buttons. You have a waterfall. You have the bubbles, of course. And then there is a part with the bubbles that will give you the heat. And that's what that light is right there. Here in the middle, where the brush is sticking up, I'm putting my foot on it and just rubbing it. That part helps you to either exfoliate, to massage them, or to 
you know, use the brush as I just did. When I'm moving my feet back and forth, there are massagers, rolling massagers down at the bottom. Oh, feels so good. I have my own little pedicure spa. Just, you know, welcome to, welcome to Gina's fancy pedicure. Oasis. <laughs> I got my whole life with this foot soaker. And it wasn't that much, guys. I think, what did I pay? Was it $40, $60? Like I said, I'll put all that stuff down in the description below so you can see how much it was, if you want to get it, the different features. The reviews on this was amazing. So I checked all that stuff out before I purchased it because I didn't want to make a faux pas purchase. I, mm -mm. I was not getting ready to set myself up for that. So I want to look out for you guys as well. So I'm going to go ahead and let you guys enjoy the rest of this pedicure part. And I'm going to go in and, you know, clean my toenails and all that stuff. So if you want to skip through that part, you can most certainly skip through that part. Because behind this clip is where I'm going to go ahead and take care of my skin my face so I will see you in that portion of the video sure
all right guys so we are going to give ourselves a nice mask treatment and this is the peel off kind of mask and I will also leave what product this is on the side of the video somewhere so that you can see what that is that I'm using absolutely love this product here I use it all the time really really gives the skin revitalization and it rejuvenates the moisture and everything that I need so you just leave it on for I don't know 20 30 minutes and this part right here fancy beauty symbols hunty it it's so gratifying <laughs> to pull this off and I didn't want to fast forward this because I want y'all to enjoy this moment with me in real time. Look at it. It's just, oh, I love this part. This is what it looks like now, and it just has the print of my skin. Of course, it pulled off whatever needs to come out of there. It's off. <sighs> yes, it feels great. So we're gonna go ahead and use some other products here to get our skin nice and treated and make sure we show it some love so first I'm going to go ahead and wet my skin with some just some regular plain water just to get it ready for the next treatment so what I'm using is the black African fried soap. I normally use the raw, which is brown in color, but this was the closest to me, and I switched back and forth just so I can continue to shock my skin. I don't want it to get used to one product and then it loses its effectiveness, so that's why I switch back and forth between both of those bars. And I do that with any product actually. You want to make sure that you don't let your body, your system, your skin, anything get used to a product because then it will lose its effectiveness. So I want to make sure that I switch back and forth in this particular, on this particular day. And I love both versions, the black and the raw. I do prefer the raw because I feel like it does a bit more without drying my skin. The black one tends to dry my skin because it'll give me that squeaky clean feel, that sound. So I know then I have to really go in and moisturize with a couple different oils or moisturizers. And sometimes I have to use both and there, it's nothing wrong with that. But I don't like to strip my skin like that. So that's why I switch back and forth as well. So now we got all that cleaned up. Skin is dancing and saying, yes, thank you, mommy. Got a little bit of soap in my eyes.
Okay, so now we're going to use dermasuction, and I've used this before a couple times. There is a spot on the side of my face that is the reason why I purchased this. And I do like this product, just FYI. So if you were thinking about getting it, it is a good purchase, a good investment to make for your skin. And make sure you follow the directions because we're dealing with our skin so want to make sure we do it correctly I am being haphazard in this video here but you're not supposed to go back and forth over one area like I'm doing right here when I did this before and I'm not gonna do it in this video I want to so bad because I was able to get so much stuff out of that one area I'm not gonna say what stuff I'm gonna let you use your imagination because I don't know who may have <laughs> a sensitive stomach so I ended up doing it so much till I put a pretty much a sore on that spot but I get everything out of it that I need to get out of it every every other area on my skin I am doing it I'm trying to do it properly so, so that I can show you how you're supposed to do it <laughs> uh, so yeah that's where we are right now Alright, so I'm pretty much done with this portion of my skin because I don't want to keep going in and mess it up. This time I did not get a lot of yucky stuff, which is a good thing, so I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. So now we're just going to go ahead and take some witch hazel and tone our skin. And then I'm going to use some rose oil and we should be good to go. So hopefully I was able to enlighten you on some products that I have been indulging in during this quarantine and actually prior to quarantine. So if so, take a look at the links in the description bar below and I will catch my fancy beauties and bows in another video. You guys continue to stay safe even though things are starting to open up and continue to wear your mask, wash your hands, don't touch your face, stay safe, stay focused on God, stay grounded in his word and stay positive. Stay fancy and stay subscribed to your girl's channel. I will see you in the next video. Have a great one. And I love you guys. You already know that. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, give me, oh, oh. I'll take it.